turns out it's not just me who's perplexed about human behaviour and just wants to run around the forest without any humans and sing to themselves and just be with the animals. Mm. Bjork also apparently feels like that. I love the me. That flip up to head voice using yodels and things like that, but her voice is very unusual. She is setting her voice against the key of the music. So she's using notes that are chromatic and don't necessarily fit with the chord or fit with that lovely timpani sample. Now the timpani is um, a massive drum that's often used in orchestras. And the timpani goes, really has a chance to show off. And the sample was taken from a 1970s song by Ray Brown Orchestra called Go Down Dying. So here is a little sample of that. So she really has used that amazing timpani sound. I understand why she'd use that because there's something so evocative about it. It feels so bombastic yet also natural. It's a natural instrument. Definitely, definitely. Those little me, she's making more of a difference between her head and her chest voice. It's really important though that you land on the note if you're like me and then end up somewhere around. That's really tricky uh, to have that precision, but it's really important. Me, I think those were the notes. They're so uh, in an unusual order that my brain is like, ah. She definitely does not keep to the rules of music. She does her own thing. That allows us to I'd say that this is one of the more normal songs. And this is her first after being in the Sugar Cubes. Going back to music that she made in her childhood. I love all the textures. Like I think that's a little guitar. A tambourine and a shaker. A lot of Bjork stuff, the more recent Bjork stuff for me is a little bit too far towards the avant-garde. I find it a bit overwhelming to listen to, but this toes the line for me really well. I really enjoy this era of Bjork's work and it doesn't mean that the later stuff isn't good, it's just it doesn't suit me for whatever reason. But here I really love this kind of quirky, unusual, it breaks the rules just enough for me and I love, I just love all the textures. You can hear every single single instrument very very clearly the shaker the tambourine gives it a brightness that bombastic timpani the guitar strums that all make this amazing sonic landscape that reminds me of like the chirping of birds it reminds me of nature orchestral elements. You 
know, it's a real amazing thing to make something that is so unusual yet so catchy. Something that really draws you in still while being so bizarre and going places that you wouldn't expect. I love the changing nature of it. You don't know where she's going to go with it. Her vocals are interesting because she never uses any vibrato. She's very, very straight with each line. She uses a lot of yodels. She uses a lot of screeches and animal noises within it. I mean, it's not what we teach singing to be like, but it doesn't mean it's not valid. It's fantastic singing. It's really, really emotive. on TikTok with it. I feel like it's really a shame that our era of music is going towards something that instantly hooks. It has to. And that can be good, but then it makes it more and more about just having a catchy sound bite. What do you think? Do you think we're losing something in this new music world? I don't know. Ooh, she's in some teeth. I love this, like, distorted guitar here. And the plucked sounds. It makes it kind of jangle poppy. Do you feel as satisfied by the way that there's all these because I've plucked sounds within it? That's really satisfying to me. Now, a little fun fact, Bjork's name actually means birch tree in Icelandic. Oh no, does she get captured by the bear? Oh. It's nice that she has this hook of that sample going on throughout. She's in his belly. The irony. There's something so wonderfully ironic about the end of that where she is lamenting human behaviour but then gets eaten by the bear. Oh. Before you go, I want to tell you something. I have just released my very own album. It's a little bit Bjorky, so if you're into Bjork, you might like it. There are three songs out here on YouTube and on Spotify, Power of the Wolf, Anxiety Society, and Phonograph Electronique, which I think is the most Bjorky. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.